today I'm going to take you through a palette of colours that I use to mix my skin tones. I'm also going to show you a few tips that should make your colour mixing process easier. I'm also going to take you step by step through painting a section of a portrait using the colours that I have mixed. So let's get on with the tutorial. first thing I should mention before we start getting into the actual mixing is that there is a worksheet that goes with this mixing exercise. If you go to the link below in the description you should be able to find the worksheet and that should help you with your process. I would suggest that you print this off before you start mixing it will help you a great deal. So the first colour that I'm going to mix today is a flesh tone and that's a mixture of yellow ochre, magenta and titanium buff. Now if you don't have titanium buff, which is not a regular or a common colour that you would normally have, um, it's that colour on the left hand side, you can use white, but I would use less of it. So I'm now going to mix these colours and what I'm going to do when I put these on, on my chart in my sketchbook, I'm going to mix them with each of the colours I've used to mix them. So I'm going to do one row, with yellow ochre, adding it as we go along, one row with magenta and one row with titanium buff, just to see how they react when they are made lighter with or darker with each of those colours, because then it gives you a variety of tones and hues. And then when you come to painting your portraits, you can see those ranges of colours and you can make a decision about what colours you are going to mix. So we are now going to mix the, ne the next colour component or base which is called a base and for that you will need yellow ochre, primary magenta and titanium buff which is what we used in the last colour mix um, but this time we're going to also use ultramarine and for this mixture we're going to use more titanium buff. I would recommend again that you download the sheet in the link below because this will help you a great deal with mixing your colours. So we're now going to paint this on the spreadsheet. Now normally I would mix this base a little bit lighter so I would use a bit more titanium buff or white whichever one I was using um, and now I'm going to do as I did in the previous sheet I'm going to add a little bit of each colour to this mix. Obviously I'm not going to use titanium buff in this one but I'm using yellow ochre first then magenta then ultramarine. Now the colour combination that we were looking at next is called black. Now this is to represent anything that you want to um, look at. So for example, if you're trying to um, paint nostrils or the inside of a mouth and you want to paint it a dark black shade, but you can't get black out of a paint pot because if you do, it's, it'll be too black. So if you mix a little bit of burnt sienna and ultramarine, it will make it a darker tone. So that is what we call black. On this last page here, I've mixed a variety of shades, including shadow, which is a mixture of ultramarine burnt sienna with the base mix, highlight, which is a mixture of base and titanium, and also mid-tone, which is base and shadow. If you want to print out the PDF that goes with this colour mixing tutorial, then please go to the link below, click on the link, and it will take you to where you can get the worksheet.
So before we move on to the actual blending of the skin tones, I've got a portrait here. You can look at this portrait and download it. It's a reference image from Pixabay and the details and the direct link are in the description below. So before I start mixing my colors, I'm going to look at my image to decide what my colors are. And a good way to do that is to get a viewfinder. Now, because this image is quite small, I'm gonna make a really small viewfinder and place that above the area so that I can mix my light, find my lightest area, my mid-tone and my dark tone. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix my lightest color, my mid-tone and my dark tone. Now I've made a decision that my mid-tone is going to be a mixture of base and titanium buff. My lightest tone is going to be a mixture of highlight, but I'm going to make that white because this girl has got very light skin and a mixture of base and blush. And then the darkest tone is gonna be a mixture of base and shadow. So let's get on to the actual painting of the close-up of the portrait. Now, you may wonder the reason for using the viewfinder, but the reason for using the viewfinder is that it helps to isolate the area so you can focus on that. Sometimes when you look at the shades and the colors, it's very difficult to focus and choose that color. So that is why the viewfinder is very handy for choosing the tones and the colors when you are struggling to decide. So here is my sketch of the close-up of the portrait. I drew it using the grid method. If you'd like to find out more about this, there is a clip on the right-hand card. Um, I also sketched in the tones to help me when I'm putting the tones in. I'm now mixing up the base um, and then I will mix the other tones around that. I will mix the shadow tone just to prepare for mixing the skin tones on the painting. The reason I'm mixing it in beforehand is you probably know that acrylic paints dry very, very quickly. Um, two tips. The first tip is make sure you've got an apron. Second tip, as I mentioned, your paint will dry very, very quickly. So because of that, you might want to get yourself a spray bottle. What I do, and you may see me doing this in between, is I spray the water, I spray water into the palette um, when I notice it's starting to dry out and when I'm using the paint because if I don't it will just dry and especially if I've mixed a color that I'm really happy with I want to make sure that I keep that paint for as long as possible sometimes I cover it with cling film especially if I'm going to have lunch or something so those are two tips that you can have for keeping your paint dry the other thing is very simple keep your rim cool um, I'm painting during the winter here so that's okay I'm, I don't have to worry about heat so these are all simple things to keep your paints from going dry. So I'm starting by blocking in the areas of the nose. And when it comes to blending, the first thing to mention is when you are painting, you need to be painting in the direction of the object always, whether you're painting a football or whether you're painting a plank of wood or whether you're painting a face, you should always paint in the direction of the object because if you don't, your painting will look flat. So when it comes to blending, you need to do the same thing. And when you are blending one tone next to another, you need to make sure that you are using a dry brush to blend those tones together. So I've mixed, I've now moved to a larger brush when I've applied my tones just to blend those tones together because I want them to look as smooth as possible. And I'm making sure that I've matched all my colors together. As you can see, it looks quite rounded and that's because I want to get a rounded expression and I've gone in the direction of the face. And once I've applied my tones, I'm going over them with this larger brush just to smooth everything out. And now when, when I want to add details, I'm using a smaller brush.
now moving on to the lips I'm using the blush tone for the lips and I'm mixing in the shade tone for the dark areas of the lips bear in mind that when you are painting lips you should always have the top lip darker than the bottom lip so that's why I'm adding more details to the bottom lip and leaving large areas of that lighter If you enjoyed this clip then make sure you check out more clips like this in the portraits playlist and don't forget to download the PDF from the description below. Don't forget to look in the description below also for details of products used in today's clip and if you have any ideas for content or questions leave a comment below. Finally don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content.